Okay, my name is Mark Perrin and this is my first video in a series of videos uh, for my new home theatre PC. Um, if I'm totally honest, I'm an Apple Mac user. It's being filmed on a MacBook Pro. I've got registered copies of Mac OS X. I've got all the Apple Macs in the house. But the reason why I built this machine was simple. Uh, Apple don't build anything remotely like this. Uh, I've used pretty much the best of what I can get at my hands on at the moment. Uh, for cases and whatnot, I've used an Origin uh, HTPC case. It's um, their S21T. It was a bit of a gamble for me in, in the hope that uh, it would work on OS X and thankfully everything has worked exactly as planned. Um, just powering it up now for the first time so you can see how it all runs on Mac OS X. Shouldn't be too long. Use the Gigabyte motherboard. I'm running a quad core Intel 2.83 processor. Nothing's overclocked, I've just left it as standard. I uh, found the best solution for running Mac OS X was to just completely leave it totally unhacked. So I've used the new um, eFix, which is, I believe, quite difficult to get hold of still at the moment. But uh, I managed to import one from uh, Switzerland. Now eFix has now selected the right drive. I'm running a 128GB SSD drive, which, although small for a home theatre PC, there are other servers in the household, but it just speeds up the boot process dramatically. As you can see now, it's given me the option to log on directly to my last FM. I have everything uh, set up in my dock at the bottom of the screen. Um, the touch screen works beautifully. I'll just show you that. There we go. Full touch screen Apple Mac. Yeah, Safari. Straight onto the internet using 802.11n networking. Now, if I just select about this Mac. I'll move this a bit closer so you can all see. It says there we're using a 4 gigabyte memory. I've kind of customised the about this Mac screen a little bit to show that it's got a gigabyte motherboard. But the touch screen works beautifully. Really, really pleased with that. Um, you can just touch the display. I'm at a bit of a funny angle at the moment so it's quite hard to, to get on the, the button exactly. You can see software updates. I'm currently on 10.5.5, which is the latest version of Mac OS X. And some of you may be wondering where the drives are on this machine. My drives are not currently finished yet. I've only put in uh, just a temporary DVD drive because you need to use a SATA drive when using the Origin. Sorry, when using the um, eFix. So for the moment, if you push the little button hidden under the front. The panel slots down, revealing a multi multitude of card slots, uh, two extra USBs and a firewire, and the DVD drive is mounted just behind here. Now I do also have a silver piece that came with the case that will go uh, finally over the, um, over the case at the end once I get the new drive in there and putting in a Blu-ray drive. Um, I believe Buffalo are making an 8 times drive, which is uh, not due out until next month. Sound card wise, there's also going to be a top of the range RME sound card going in there, just for the ultimate in uh, audio file sound quality. Um, I've also got this connected up and I can use um, front row, so I mean I can show you that. Uh, simply put, you press front row, just select it now and start. Now that screen will go off and now as you can see on here front rows appeared on the plasma. So you now have full control of front row using the Apple remote control. So that all operates exactly as predicted. And this is using the built-in infrared that comes complete with the case. 